Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Christine aka Blue Lotus Priestess here and thank you so much for joining me here in today's reading and in another video. So I hope you guys are ha having a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening whenever you're seeing this. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and jump right into it. This is going to be your full moon reading for the Aries full moon on on October 9th so you know you guys know the drill if you guys aren't new to my channel but if you guys are we're just gonna go ahead and um, get some angel numbers some main energies to open up your reading and see you know what you need to know what to expect what energies are surrounding you all that good stuff for this full moon so Let's go ahead and get into it. I'm already cutting the deck and I see 888. So maybe you're already seeing that angel number as confirmation. Um, but usually I've been using uh, my dice to get an angel number for you guys, but I felt guided or I found my uh, this angel number oracle deck that I've had for a little bit. So I wanted to get it out to start using this as well to see if we can get any angel numbers for you guys. Perfect. Ooh, okay, so we have 000 and 18. So for me, z repeating zeros, this is definitely speaking about like full energy, like taking a risk, taking a leap of faith, but also like having a new beginning or starting something new. You know what I mean? Like you're starting from zero and I just heard starting from scratch. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments how that resonates for you. But yeah, comment down below or affirm down below in the comments that I am a creator and I am kind-hearted, okay? Um, I definitely feel like with this full moon, there's going to be some sort of reset or clean slate. Um, you could be 18, something about 2018 could be significant. Your birthday could be on the 18th of a month. I just also feel like because 18 breaks down to a nine and that's usually nine, uh, you're so close to completing something, but also it's like some sort of wish fulfillment as well. And it can be a karmic law or karmic law type of number. So there definitely could be something like how I'm getting zero and nine. Like I just kind of feel like the world energy of like endings and new beginnings. It's funny though, because I actually for, um, I channeled a re or I did a reading not long ago and I was actually talking about, I had like a, um, a brain fart because I, I thought for some reason I was really getting the energy that the, uh, like astrological or zodiac new year was going to be for this Aries full moon. But then I forgot it's actually for the Aries new moon, which is in March. So I don't know why, but that could still resonate because for some reason I was just picking up the energy of like, again, like being at the start or the beginning. And that's also the energy that's coming out here with the zero, zero, zero. So I just thought I'd mention that because maybe if you watch that reading already, that could be connected to this reading or there's just still something about that. Um, we also have angel number 555 at the bottom of the deck. So yeah, you could be um, going through some changes in your lives or shifts, changes, different things like that, okay? Um, but I feel like it's like, yeah, maybe you're making changes in order to have this new beginning or there's going to be some sort of change that does allow you to have a fresh start or some sort of clean slate, okay? Yeah, comment down below. I am evolving, I am transforming, I have been reborn. Wow, that's beautiful. Yeah, you could be seeing owls as confirmation as well. Um, so yeah, maybe you've been seeing these angel numbers already, or maybe, you know, definitely on the 9th, if you see these angel numbers, or even just after watching this reading, seeing these angel numbers could definitely just be confirmation for you, or, so yeah, it could just be confirmation for you that this is definitely your message, or at least something in this reading was meant for you. 
So let's just go ahead and uh, jump into some spooky main energies for this full moon with my spooky oracle deck here and then we'll go deeper into the moonology deck to see what else comes up. But what is the main energy surrounding the collective for this Aries full moon, please? What does the collective need to know? is midnight the most magical hour of all sorry y'all i had to take off my sweatshirt for a second i got really hot so like i don't know if um because i even have like the window open and everything and it's really cool out but like i don't know like i just feel really hot or like i'm burning up so i don't know if like maybe you've been getting hot too or like if somebody feels like they're in the hot seat or something like that um like sorry side note but i was actually thinking about redoing this reading because like I don't know I just started to feel very uncomfortable or like something doesn't feel right but I feel guided to still keep going with the reading because I feel like it's an omen or like it's not a coincidence so I don't know if there's something about like you where you don't feel like something's right as well or like you feel like something's off I don't know we'll get into it but anyways so that's just a side note sorry about that y'all Anyways, we have the midnight, the most ad magical hour of all. Um, something about like October 12th could be significant for you. But I'm also getting like, yeah, maybe something about midnight on Sunday, like the full moon. So what, like maybe at midnight, like the 8th going into the 9th. I don't know. Something about midnight could be happening, but I also feel like you could be a night owl or there's something about the nighttime where like you get your creativity, your downloads, your inspiration, whatever it is at night. Okay. Oh yeah. With the, the lamp at the bottom of the deck though, how interesting because we have like a dark and a light. Maybe you're going through like a dark night of the soul or you're going through like you're taking a look at some of the shadow aspects of yourself or trying to, I just heard like remember who you are or like kind of your roots, like where you come from. I'm kind of just getting the energy of like going down memory lane or nostalgia of like doing things to remember who you are or like not forgetting your roots. I feel like there's some sort of clarity, illumination, like an epiphany or a breakthrough that's like basically at hand because I feel like it's like you might be in a dark period of time or feel like it's a dark time or period or something like that, but it's like you're still trying to find the light. Yeah, there's something about like fortune, about good luck fortune, but somebody could be in regret and like feel iced out or left out or like their hearts gone cold type of energy okay let's get one more energy what else what is, is the main energy surrounding the collective thank you yeah black cat again at the bottom of the deck so i definitely feel like there is some sort of like blessing new beginning opportunity some sort of fortune or good karma that it's like it's all happening in divine timing especially with the clock and everything too we have joy rejoicing in the present and skull of darkness blind spots okay so yeah definitely i feel like you guys are being guided to embrace the present moment at this time or especially during this full moon um definitely like showing your gratitude or just finding the things that you are um grateful for so that way you can continue to bring more abundance into your life but it's also just like I'm kind of feeling like yeah just taking the time to like enjoy the day enjoy the weekend enjoy where you currently are even if it feels like it's a dark kind of period of time or like a dark time or something or maybe your situation just doesn't seem as positive but it's like still like your life or things can change or turn around at any second type of energy you know what I mean um so I do feel like 
I just feel like continue to focus on the good things that are already in your life or that are taking place in your life now because you are like shifting or transforming or yeah because even now at the oh 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 my gosh y'all at the bottom of the deck I was gonna say yeah fiery climax approaches like things might feel like slow or like I don't know slow moving right now but I was gonna say yeah something's gonna pick up the pace but yeah here's the full moon in Aries and the new moon in Aries wow okay so something could really be specific um specific about the like uh the new moon in Aries that already took place in March so like the there's something about like uh, kind of like the the months from March to now or like from now into next March okay definitely something could be like maybe you received a clean slate already or you'll be receiving a clean slate wow but this is really significant to have the full and new moon both for like Aries come out so this is definitely on point with like you know what's going on currently but yeah I was just gonna say keep embracing the, the present moment because I feel like there might be yeah blind spot I always yeah I always get the two of swords energy with that card so I feel like there is something that hasn't come into your awareness yet but we'll get into it a little bit more so just gonna get some moonology cards as well to see what other energies are surrounding you Your dreams need a practical plan. Yeah, I feel ooh, I feel like the download I just got is I feel like some of you guys are like up late, like working up until basically midnight or past midnight, like working on your goals, dreams, your passions, whatever it is that you're like trying to get to move forward, you know, but I do feel like there is like, yeah, maybe just needing to, okay, yeah, because that's what I was saying in the other reading too about the full moon energy I was getting because I was talking about how I'm going to be reevaluating re like my goals, different things like that. So it's like exactly, even my dreams, my goals need a practical plan, you know? And I feel like even though I had that brain fart, like the, the energy is still very much like current or here, like it's spot on, you know? So there is something that you're doing or that you want to do and it just needs a little bit more of like two of wands like getting a clear sense of direction or a plan I just heard a business plan but we also have be bold and make the first move and it came out in reverse so I feel like some of you guys it's like you are being guided to take some sort of risk or leap of faith like how I was getting with the full energy to start something or to do something or just to, you know, take action on whatever it is that this resonates with you for. But it's like, I feel like there's fears or you haven't taken that action yet. Either there's like a delay or I just heard hesitancy, um, something like that. But yeah, you're being guided to make to like take the first, yeah, take the first step. You're at zero, you know what I mean? You're at step zero, but it's like you're being guided to to be bold and just take one step, it, you know? Um, and that can still be very scary, but it's like, yeah, if you plan it or figure out exactly how you're going to carry out whatever it is you're wanting to do, that could definitely eliminate some of the fears or anxiety, okay? Yeah, whatever it is though, you need to know you and your loved ones are safe. Yeah, because it's time to take action again with the new moon in Aries. So yeah, I feel like you either already took something or took action on something in March, or it's like, this is just confirmation that you, your loved ones, everyone is protected. Your situation is straight. So that way you can take action because it is time for you to be bold and take some sort of risk or make a move or do something. Okay. So, um, Let's just go ahead and get the tarot out now and clarify these messages a little bit more. We do have strength at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, so it's like somebody could need some strength to come forward with communication or at least some sort of news information or communication, or you could definitely be a messenger, a public speaker or something like that, or you have some sort of, like you could be on social media or be on a platform, but it's like you're being guided to stay strong, to persevere, to continue to like have the motivation and the determination to um, 
do whatever it is you want to do and take that first step or make that first leap. I just saw the tower with the page of wands as well. So like there could be some sort of like news information or communication that does cause a breakthrough, a tower moment. It shifts your perspective. But I was trying to get some more on this. Your dreams need a practical plan so we can see what's going on there. Okay, wow, we have the Ten of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords with the Six of Cups. Okay, wow, this is beautiful, y'all. We have the Ten of Pentacles, so it's like, yeah, whatever your goal, dream, plan, whatever it is that you're wanting to do, this is definitely something that's going to allow you to have this Ten of Pentacles, a luxurious life or a comfortable life, however that resonates for you. This is also having like unconditional love between you and your partner, so it's like you have love and you have money and you're just living a luxurious life. You have generational wealth, uh, you have some sort of legacy, dynasty, this could involve an inheritance in some way or like you would like if you follow through with your dreams and create a plan and still continue to take action on it like you could become like a millionaire in your family or like establish some sort of like wealth to where exactly your grandkids would be fine or like your kids 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 you know but we also have the knight of swords so i do feel like this is something you're being guided to like take swift action on and seize the day with it um but at the same time, it's like, make sure it's like a calculated or like what, like seize the day. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but it's like, don't be impulsive or like hasty, rash, you know, don't act without thinking. So I feel like exactly that's why your dreams need a plan, because if you're just taking action on goals, but not really sure if like the actions you're taking are aligning with the goals or like the dreams that you have for yourself, it's kind of like not really allowing you to truly move forward. So it's like, I feel like take like calculate like plan out that's why it's like I feel like it's important to get the plan out or figure out like what it is your goal is or how you want to get to your goal and then when you establish that like just boom take action hit the ground running seize the day type of energy okay um I do feel like with the Six of Cups too, this could be something from like your past or your childhood. This is something from your past that like, I feel like, yeah, it was like your childhood dream or like at least it was a dream you had in the past or your childhood dream of like, yeah, you know how people, whenever you're asked when you're a kid, like what do you wanna do or what do you wanna be when you grow, grow up? That's the kind of vibe that I'm getting of like, this is something you wanted to do when you were younger or in your past and you felt like it was going to give you this luxurious life, but I don't know if you truly like took action on it. So maybe this is also something from the past too, where like maybe in the past you, um, you know, you didn't really take action on things, but it's like something's coming back around again as like sort of a second chance type of energy to be able to truly like see where this takes you you know what i mean yeah because at the at the bottom of the deck we have the four of swords so maybe you are being guided to like rest relax recharge meditate contemplate because i do feel like there's something that's on your like it's heavily on your mind you can't stop thinking about it so it's like yeah i just keep feeling guided to say like maybe if you actually took um your ideas and put it like pen to paper type of thing that could help you have more visuals or more of an idea or something like that okay but wow so we have the four of swords with the five of swords so they're definitely like could be somebody who is a little bit jealous envious bitter they're trying to strategize or even there could have been some sort of like criminal activity involved 333 three, three could resonate. I just feel like you're being guided to really like go within and figure out what it is like how you are going to come forward with this plan or how you are going to move forward with this plan. We have the six of wands. Yeah, because whatever this is, you're definitely going to have victory, success, or you're going to get the rec recognition that you deserve for your hard work. Okay, yeah, like I said, some of you guys could definitely be like how I was bringing up with the messenger. You could be a messenger. You could be in the public eye. You could have some sort of social media platform or something like that. But it's like, yeah, you, you could communicate well or... You have fans, a following, something like that. Maybe that's also involved. So like, 
I don't know, like for example, yeah, maybe if you're an if you're an influencer or you do something involving content, it's like um like planning out the content that you're gonna do. Like just I don't know, like I just feel like getting all the grunt work done beforehand in order to make the the action part easier. I don't know, I just keep getting something about that where it's like if you have a strong plan or like a strong outline or take the time to brainstorm and think of ideas or figure things out, it would really like allow you to truly like receive more recognition or like receive some sort of victory. Yeah, Hermit. So yeah, again, with the Four of Swords you could and the Hermit now, you could definitely like um, want to meditate or contemplate or go within on something. Yeah, some of you guys are being isolated though or like separated from a, a low vibe toxic energy. This person could have juggled you. Yeah, 222 two, two could resonate for you. So it's like, I feel like you're being guided to either stay in hermit mode or isolation and to like go within in order to, yeah, release, like figure out what is like causing you to have low vibe or toxicity in your life. I don't know, y'all. I just really feel like this is something where it's like, it would really benefit if you went within because I'm hearing work smarter, not harder. And that's what I was getting like, I feel like for midnight, I don't know if you are a night owl or like if you just work long hours or because you have a lot of things going on, it's like you have to work a lot or like a long amount of time. But it's like if you go within or kind of, I don't know, like just get a little bit more organized, you know, maybe that would, re I just, I just really feel the energy of like organizing your thoughts, putting things to pen to paper, because I feel like something you already, like an idea you already have or something you're doing, like it's solid, you know what I mean? But there's something about the like, you know, you know how they say from getting the idea to execution, like how quickly you can get the idea and execute it and like get it out there as far as like for content and stuff. Maybe like that's the thing. I don't know y'all, but yeah, however this resonates for you, just trust that whatever your goal or dream is, it's definitely going to be successful. You're going to get the recognition that you deserve. It is something that can be achievable. You know what I mean? I just feel like there's something about like getting your ducks in a row and then just taking action and like hit the ground running type of thing. So let's go ahead and move forward onto this be bold and make the first move. Why is this in reverse? Why is be bold and make the first move in reverse? the king of pentacles and i know i had another one come out okay so we have oops Alrighty, so we have the king of pentacles the knight of cups and the queen of swords yeah, so definitely, okay, with the King of Pentacles, so definitely a Taurus Virgo, Virgo Capricorn could be involved as well as a Gemini Libra Aquarius, but it doesn't have to be. I just feel like whoever is in this King of Pentacles energy, I feel like they definitely want to commit to somebody. Um, okay, sorry, y'all. So I'm getting a few downloads. Um, but either, so the King of Pentacles, either you, you could already be in a commitment or you just know, or somebody knows they want to commit to someone, you know, if you are already committed, um, I feel like you, you and your person could have gotten a divorce or separated, or like you're not seeing eye to eye or something like that. But it's like, you might want to like after the separation or something, it's like, you might feel like you want to make some sort of small offer or gesture towards this person, but it's like you're not being bold and taking that move or coming forward to offer something, okay? But for others of you where I'm getting the energy of like, if this is somebody who like, if you want to commit to somebody or if this is somebody who wants to commit to you, um, I really feel like somebody's like holding themselves back and not taking action because it's like, yeah, somebody definitely sees like you as marriage material or like boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife material, you know what I mean? But 
I don't think maybe they know how to communicate that to you or maybe they feel like, okay, yeah, because the Four of Cups is at the bottom of the deck. So maybe they're scared about being rejected or maybe, yeah, if you guys um, haven't talked in a while, maybe it's like they feel like they've missed out on an opportunity or something. But yeah, it's just straight up. Somebody wants to commit to someone, but they're not coming forward to say anything or to act to like hang out to talk to do anything so either maybe whoever is in this queen of swords energy maybe they cut you off like maybe they already rejected you because of how these two the knight and the queen is like facing a different way But yeah, I just really feel like somebody's holding themselves back because yeah, they see you as like their ultimate happiness or wish fulfillment. Yeah, they want to get, they want some sort of commitment or like a marriage or something like that. Or like I said, you could already be married or committed to this person or this person does want to be committed or married to you. Yeah, there's fears of rejection or missing out or if this is somebody who's already in a connection, it's like one of the two is very bored, dissatisfied, they're unfulfilled and it's like the other person is wanting to like do something to kind of spice things up. So let's see about this Knight of Cups though. So we have the Page of Cups with the Page of Swords, the King of Cups and the nine of swords so yeah there's a lot of swords energy so i don't know again yeah if somebody so this is what i mean too okay so yeah because even now like with the first energy i was picking up on it was just like somebody was like very much in their head they can't stop thinking about it and i feel like that same type of energy is carrying into here but i feel like it's more like somebody can't get another person off of their mind 30 30 could resonate for you but it's like yeah whoever um this king of pentacles is they definitely either need to apologize or they're definitely a secret admirer there's somebody with the page of swords that's like watching, observing, researching, keeping tabs, looking into you. So they could be keeping tabs, yeah, because if you're a messenger or you're on a public platform or something like that, um, this person is definitely like keeping tabs on your social media or checking in on your social media often or always trying to like just see what you're up to, okay? They definitely might ask about you or something like that. But it's like, this is what I mean. I feel like they're a secret admirer, but they're just kind of watching from a distance but they won't actually come forward and make a move but it's like they want to right because with the king of cups they're definitely like the feelings are there they could already be in love with you so you may or may not even know this person but they know you you know what I mean and they're keeping tabs on you in some way or you could or this could be you you know what I mean flip the roles but it's like again yeah with the nine of swords whoever this person is this king of pentacles king of cups person they are like stressed out they're anxious they can't sleep they could be having nightmares I just feel like they're stressed out and like they don't know how to come forward they just know they want to come forward but they don't know how okay um I definitely feel like whoever this King of Pentacles, King of Cups is, they're very loyal, stable, committed, humble, down to earth, responsible, reliable, uh, very empathetic, sensitive, compassionate. They could be very intuitive or like an empath as well. They could already have a business or like they could have some sort of like rank status position. You know what I mean? Yeah, I just feel like... Um, I don't know because the queen of swords too it's like someone who's very just like they see through the bs right i'm just getting the the energy that like okay yeah okay intimidated this king of pentacles and king of cups that's the word they're intimidated of being able to come forward and approach whoever this queen of swords is or whoever they're in love with so whether it is this person needs to apologize it's like they're anxious they're stressed out about how to even apologize or if this is a secret admirer, they just like, again, they're stressed out. They don't know how to come forward. Yeah, they're definitely like, they're in hermit mode. They're minding their business. They're moving in silence. They're going within. They're really trying to like figure out. So why are they so stressed out? Ooh, okay. So with the three of cups, this could definitely be like a friend that's a secret admirer. Um, or like... 
because this is a card for like family, friends, siblings. So like, I feel like this is either one of your friends or like a friend of a friend or just like an acquaintance or something like that. But I feel like they're stressed out because they might want to reconcile with you. So that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I feel like um, with the Queen of Swords, how I was picking up that like, yeah, you could have gotten a divorce or there was some sort of separation period or you're not seeing eye to eye or maybe you didn't see eye to eye in the past. So it's like, yeah, something happened and somebody wants to reconcile. This King of Pentacles, King of Cups wants to reconcile, but they're stressed out on how to actually come forward and make that move. I just heard they might be like how I said they were intimidated. They could fear that you would like cut them down and just straight up like, oh my gosh, y'all remember next? <laughs> and you know whenever the show on MTV and everything, and you know how the person wouldn't even get off the bus before the one would be like, no. Like that, that's the type of energy I'm getting right now is like something really bad could have happened to where it's like this King of Pentacles, King of Cups is scared that they're going to try to come forward and make a move. And this Queen of Swords is going to be like next. <laughs> and then it's like, dang, they're going to feel very rejected and heartbroken because they're already in love. They're a secret admirer. Like they have a crush, you know? Yeah, they're waiting. They're trying to evaluate and figure out how to come forward. Yeah, because the Queen of Pentacles, they want to exactly, they feel like you're you're their perfect match. But yeah, with the Three of Swords, so that's what I'm saying. There could have been some sort of third party situation involved and like it doesn't just have to be like that this person or like you went towards another person. Like there could have been some sort of interference, like family, friends, siblings could have interfered somehow or caused some sort of like, exactly like caused some sort of separation or like differences, yeah, differences of opinion, something. I just, there's meddling energies that got in the way somehow. But even if it's not that, then yeah, definitely this this uh, Queen of Swords, Queen of Pentacles could have been put in a third party situation where they experienced some sort of pain, heartbreak, loss, grief, you know? So it's like, it's hard to just, it's not going to be easy basically to just come back and like try to reconcile, you know? Yeah, so somebody could definitely be like jealous, envious, bitter, resentful. They're playing mind games and manipulating. Okay, so what was this Three of Swords? Yeah, somebody was a player. Somebody was flighty. They Okay, so that's what I'm saying. Maybe in the past, like, whatever happened, I feel like something happened in the past to where, like, this King of Pentacles, King of Cups is a King of Pentacles and King of Cups now. You know what I mean? Like, they're loyal, stable, humble, committed now. But they could have definitely been a player in the past. And like I said, um, put you in some sort of, like, third party or just caught, like, hurt you in some way you know what I mean even if it wasn't a third party um but if it's also not that I'm also getting the energy of like because the knight of wands for me is someone who's determined to carry out a plan and see it through until the end so it's like maybe this person is feeling like the grief the re the regrets the remorse of the pain they caused you so it's like they're determined to make it right or they're determined to do something but again they just don't know how yeah they definitely want a new beginning they want like a fresh start a clean slate yeah king of swords after like exact yeah so king of swords again this is like perfect yeah perfect match energy man we have two couples out on the board so even now i was just getting the download too that maybe two couple like two different couples are involved because we have the king and queen of swords and now the king and queen of pentacles but there's only a king of cups so somebody could feel like left out or like maybe this is the third party or something but anyways, yeah, it's like whoever, ex like whoever this King of Pentacles and King of Cups is, they want to come back and like gift you something, offer you something. They want a new beginning, okay? They want a solid foundation, something secure, stable, prosperous. Yeah, they could be trying to figure out like new ways on how to come forward. 888 could resonate. 
so wow yeah yeah y'all okay literally just cut the deck ace of pentacles and the fool this is what i have been channeling since the beginning i really feel like this person wants a new beginning a clean slate to just start over but like i know that's going to be difficult because if there was already some sort of pain established it's like you can't just act like it didn't happen or ignore it you know so it's like you still have to push through it or work on it together but I just I just really feel like this person is really intimidated and they just don't know how to come forward but anyway yeah they're definitely like they're in hermit mode trying to figure it out they're planning they're brainstorming you see this jack-o-lantern with the brain yeah they are like okay I just like was getting the energy that like they are like picking their brain or like like I don't know man they're really in their head about this let's just get um final me what so maybe this person is like, maybe they haven't been bold and made a move yet or did or haven't taken action yet because with the 10 of wands, they could be experiencing some sort of heaviness or burdens, or they just have a lot of tasks or responsibilities that they're dealing with. So it's like, they could be experiencing a painful or heavy ending, which is why it's like delaying them or hesitating them from coming forward, or there already was a painful ending or, or a heavy ending between the two of you so it's like, again, they don't know how to come forward after all of that heaviness or that burdens or like, um, maybe they don't want to like, f seem like a burden in some way. Because if they already like burdened you in some way or hurt you in some way, then maybe they don't want to be a burden. I just feel like something's really heavily weighing on this person and they just don't know, like it's just heavy. But how I was getting to with the nine energy, like something's almost completing. So again, something's like finishing up, yeah. And then I feel like once this does complete, like once they are able to surrender a burden, drop a task or responsibility or something like that, then they will wanna come forward and bring some sort of good news information or communicate with you. Yeah, they're experiencing some sort of painful ending, betrayal or backstab. They might even have to like move, travel, relocate something like that but it's like yeah they're being guided away from this ten of swords the deceptive uh the deceptive or backstabbing whatever it was they're being guided away from it in order to bring more balance and stability in their lives yeah because it's, so they could either feel very confused right now or something was very confusing dang well i still like that's still nice though like to know or as confirmation that like even though this person is experiencing something heavy, it's like, so, okay, even though they're experiencing something heavy, it's like, they're, you're still on their mind, or like, they're still determined to make things work, so it's like, regardless, you're still going to be able to receive some sort of good news, or they will communicate or they will be bold or things will like you will reconcile well if that's all what you're wanting you know what I mean because everybody has free will so if this person does come back like exactly it's probably weighing heavy on them that there is the possibility that you could reject them or that they have already missed out on an opportunity with you but I just feel like in general I really feel like this is some sort of love um, connection. So I do feel like, again, this is just confirmation that this person is going to reach out. They will communicate. They're just dealing with a heavy situation or some sort of heavy ending right now. But it's like once they build up their confidence and uh, their self-esteem to be in like maybe even figure out how to come forward and like approach you, then they will and they'll communicate. But if this doesn't involve a love situation, I just feel like with the page of wands being at the bottom of the deck that this is still confirmation that you can expect um, some sort of good news information or communication after like delays or hesitancy okay um, and even then I saw the hermit again like how I was picking up the deck and the hermit came out so like again I just feel like you and or this person are being guided to yeah just stay you know stay in your own lane continue to mind your business continue to move in silence um continue to meditate go within you know do whatever it is you need to do to like 
get yourself organized or set up for success, okay? Because there is some sort of opportunity like how we saw the Ace of Pentacles. So that is something tangible to expect, okay? Wow, I just saw 4321 on the clock. That's crazy. Um, anyway, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the reading here, guys. I hope these messages help to provide you with insight, clarity, awareness, confirmation, or even some healing as well. Um, don't forget to do your full moon water, your full moon rituals, and especially your full moon manifestations, okay? Um, let me know in the comments down below, you know, how this resonated for you or if this was your story. And also don't forget to comment down below your favorite affirmation, whether it was the I am creator or I am kind hearted or both. You are evolving all of that good stuff, okay? Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe if you feel like you're a vibe with our tribe. And if you even feel guided to donate to my channel, all of that information can be found in the description box below. So thank you guys so much. I hope you are having a great week or weekend whenever you're seeing this. And I hope you have a great day or a great rest of your day as well. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Take care.